Hello everyone, my name is Vikai from Nanjing University. Thanks for watching this presentation and being interested in this research. And in this presentation, I will show you a building matching design toolkit we developed in the Rhino Grass Hooper environment. The purpose of the, uh, the development of this toolkit is to help the architect to use the organization based design exploration in the building matching design. So let's talk about the uh, background of this research. In the recent year, many architects and uh, researchers uh, argue that the uh, performance-based design optimization is can 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 be an efficient means for for the architect to do the design exploration. So instead of purely maximizing the performance of the design, uh, designer can also extract information from the optimization result and achieve a performance aware design process uh, however in the reality it is still very challenging for the architect to uh, carry out such optimization based design exploration <clears throat> the reasons for this are twofold uh, on the one hand uh, the architect has to spend a lot of time and effort into the parametric modeling and establish a design optimization workflow which can cost them like uh, days or even weeks uh, the second uh, factor is that the, due to the limitation and weakness of the parametric model and the optimization algorithm, the information feedback from the uh, optimization is usually very really limited. So here is an ordinary workflow of using the performance-based design optimization in the architecture design. And the architect has to first uh, conceive the design concept based on the design brief and condition and translate the design concept into a parametric model and run the optimization process and get the result. However, due to the optimization result have a tight connection to the parametric model and the parametric model have a tight connection to the design concept, the optimization result usually uh, have a strong relationship with the design concept and as a result, uh, the the optimization cannot output the design variant uh, beyond what the uh, designer defined. So from the architecture design point of view, uh, the information contained in the optimization result is usually very limited and not very useful for designer in their design reflection and the design synthesis. <clears throat> so in order to address the challenge, uh, we developed this uh, building matching design toolkit in the Rhino Grasshopper environment. The toolkit has two major components. The first component is two building matching generating model based on the subtractive and additive fund generation principles. And the second component is a hybrid evolutionary algorithm based on the island model and the steady state strategy. <coughs> For the generating model, we developed these two generating models based on the subtractive and additive from generation principles. The reason why we use these two principles is because these two principles can describe basically all the building matching design in the world and in reality. And uh, especially uh, these two principles can also uh, efficiently describe some passive design strategies such as called, yeah, uh, self shading and the solar envelope. So, if we use these two principles as the basis of the parametric modeling, uh, in theory, the parametric model can reversely generate all the design variants that can be described by these two uh, principles. So uh, the optimization process can search for the design space divided by these two parametric model uh, for the more size-specific and uh, test-specific solution for the design problem. And the second component is the hybrid evolutionary algorithm. We call this algorithm SSIEA. Uh, the main feature of SSIEA is that we implement a, a island-based model in this algorithm. So uh, in the optimization process, the SSIEA can focus on several regions in the design search space and then to output several high-performing uh, design uh, variant, but also with uh, uh, relative high design differentiation. 
uh, in contrast, if we use the standard genetic algorithm, usually the optimization process will converge into a very limited uh, region in the design search space and output a group of a very similar design solution. So since there are no differentiation in among these design solution, usually the designer cannot extract uh, more information about the design problem by this, uh, this optimization result. Um, the last feature of this uh, two key is that it is easy to use. Uh, the purpose of develop uh, this two key is also to facilitate architect who uh, usually uh, not have no prior prior knowledge about the parametric design and the uh, uh, computational design optimization to use uh, this two key for the perform based design optimization in their design process. So there are only four steps to use this uh, two key to run the optimization process. So the first uh, step is to select and set up the generated model. And the second one is connect the generated model to the simulation tool. And the last step is last step before running optimization is to connect the uh, optimization algorithm to the genetic model and the simulation tool. And the last step is to click the button and let the computer run the optimization process and uh, to get the optimization result. <clears throat> so I will use two case study to demonstrate how these two key can be useful in the architecture design process. Uh, the first case study is a high rise office building in the Nanjing University. Um, the objective of the optimization is to improve the daylighting performance for reducing the lighting energy. Uh, we respectively using the subtracted and the additive uh, generated model uh, for running the optimization process. And the optimization result is shown in this slide. And uh, as you can see that the, this uh, optimization result is uh, uh, basically uh, to, uh, reflecting one uh, major uh, strategy is that to elevate the overall messing. Uh, the strategy is actually can uh, make the target building escape from the shadow cast by the surrounding building and increase the portion of indoor space uh, that can have a better accessibility to the nature daylight. And the second case study is a more realistic one. We use the two key in a free, uh, a third grade kindergarten design studio. Uh, one student used this two key in her design process. Uh, the student have no prior knowledge about the parametric design and the uh, uh, computational design optimization. Uh, so we gave her a small tutorial and instruction of how to use the two key. And then the, the student can establish her own uh, design optimization workflow. Uh, uh, based on the workflow, the student first uh, examined two Greek systems uh, with different angles and run the optimization uh, process respectively based on the two Greek systems. And based on the optimization result, the student select the one generated by the 45 degree Greek system because they have a, a better uh, performance on average. And based on the optimization result uh, generated by the 45 degree grid system, the student further extract more information from the, uh, the design variant in the optimization result. And, um, and the student uh, fi uh, found that the jacket matching elements and the spacing between the uh, classroom cluster are helpful for improving the daylight performance. So uh, following these two, principle, the student rearrange the matching element and taking other requirements into account such as circulation and geometry order. So to sum up, using the uh, two key have a three major advantage. The first advantage is that before the optimization, there is no parametric modeling is required. And in some cases, if the architect already have one design optimization workflow, they don't even need to establish the workflow for in each uh, project. So using the two key can streamline the design process and reduce the interruption to the architect's design process. And the second uh, advantage is that uh, during the optimization, the generated model can generate uh, a wide variety of building matching design alternative, which can help the optimization process to identify more site-specific and test-specific solution for solving the design problem.
And the last advantage is that after the optimization, the SSIEA can output several high performing design solution with significant differentiation, which not only can provide more options for the architects, but also can enhance the information extraction. <clears throat> so based on using uh, the two key, the, uh, the workflow of using the uh, performance-based design optimization in architecture design can be changed. The architect do not need to come up with a design concept, they just need to formulate the design problem and run the optimization and get the result. Uh, based on the optimization result, the architect can either select one design variant for further development or redefine or reformulate the design problem and rerun the optimization and get more uh, uh, result from the optimization uh, so they can extract more information about the design problem and make wise decision in the uh, following design process. Uh, this is the end of this presentation. Uh, if you are interested in this uh, uh, presentation, you can check the paper as well. Uh, thank you.